A. B. Patterson, Mulgapool's Bicycle. Twas Mulga Bill from Eagle Hawk that caught the cycling craze. He turned away the good old horse that served him many days. He dressed himself in cycling clothes resplendent to be seen, and hurried he hurried off to town and bought a shining new machine. And as he wheeled it through the door, with air of lordly pride, the grinning shop assistant said, Excuse me, can you ride? See here, young man, said Mulga Bill. From Walgett to the sea, from Conroy's Gap to Castle Ray, there's none can ride like me. I'm good all round at everything, as everybody knows, although I'm not the one to talk. I hate a man that blows. But riding is my special gift. My chiefest sole delight. Just ask a wild duck, can it swim? A wild cat, can it fight? There's nothing clothed in heel or hide or built of flesh or steel. There's nothing walks or jumps or runs on axle, hoof or wheel. But what I'll sit while hide will hold and girths and straps are tight, I'll ride this here to wield concern. Right straight away at sight. Any farthing? Twas Mulga Bill from Eagle Hawk that sought his own abode, that perched above the dead man's creek beside the mountain road. He turned the cycle down the hill and mounted for the fray. But ere he'd gone a dozen yards, it bolted clean away. It left the track and through the trees, just like a silver streak. It whistled down the awful slope towards the dead man's creek. It shaved a stump by half an inch. It dodged a big white box. The very wallaroos in fright went scrambling up the rocks. The wombats hiding in their caves dug deeper underground. But Mulga Bill, as white as chalk, sat tight to every bound. It raced beside a precipice as close as close could be, and then as Mulga Bill let out, one last despairing shriek. It made a leap of 20 feet into the dead man's creek. It's safe at rest in dead man's creek. We'll leave it lying still. A horse's back is good enough henceforth for Mulga Bill.